This is the e-bike that's going to replace my van. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you get to see the ultimate e-bike, I have to first show you this normal e-bike. See, I've got this thing because the company that makes it reached out wondering if I wanted to give it a go, to which my initial response was no. I've already got a mountain bike that's nicer than I even need it to be. Plus, I drive my dream car. So logistically, it just didn't make a lot of sense. But logistics aside, I like to think I'm way too cool for an e-bike. But just as I thought my mind was made up, I remembered the map. The map represents the five places I spend most of my time. There's home, the skate park, the grocery store, the cool rocks, and the backcountry ski spot. A lot of these places are a little too far to ride my bike, yet they're close enough that driving my van feels a little silly. I realized if I had something with just a little bit of power, I'd be able to replace my van for 90% of the things I use it for on a daily basis. So I did something that surprised even me and replied yes to the email. So I live in an outdoor industry town, meaning our main export is sort of experiences and adventures. And the culture here kind of dictates that some things are really, really cool and other things aren't really cool. And there are very few things that land in the middle, like are they cool or aren't they? And two things that are very much in the middle are e-bikes and fat bikes. It's hard to tell whether they are or aren't sort of accepted. So I got an e-fat bike. <laughs> As I began building my new ride, I realized it wasn't just the e-bike that I got. Oh, a hat, let's go. <gasps> Oh my god! Check this out! Oh! <laughs> gold medal! Wow! I didn't even have to ride it and I'm already a winner! What is this for? And then moments later, the unthinkable happened. So right as I finished building this beautiful beast back here behind me, the heavens opened and it started raining so hard and that sort of made me wonder, hey, I wonder if this thing's waterproof or not. But I can take some solace in the fact that they don't just give these out. Um, I, me and Randy here have something special, and I think we're going to be okay. Ain't that right, Randy? No. I knew it only made sense for the maiden voyage to be a trip to the skate park. So that's what we did. Well, as far as the skate park whip is concerned, I'd say Randy passed with flying colors. All I had to do was throw my board up here on the rack and it took like two minutes to get here from my house. So I can gladly check that box. That's one spot on the map already done. I think now since it's about lunchtime, I'm gonna go grab some groceries. Let's go. <laughs> so I set off for the next spot and learned along the way that I'm a really good e-bike driver. I don't even own a bike lock, so the strategy is just hope for the best. See you, Randy. From there, I picked up a well-thought-out lunch and crossed my fingers as I went out to check on Randy. Please still be there, Randy. Please still be there. The Holly's still there. Oh my god, we have a conflict. I can't, I need a basket. But I can't, I can't put a basket on it unless I don't have my skateboard on it. That's a big problem. That sort of messes with things big time, honestly. I'm upset. So I'm gonna reluctantly check grocery store off the map. Randy did good. I think there's just some slight upgrades I can do to him to make it way better. It was really nice since the grocery store is up the hill from me. I didn't have to pedal. It didn't wear me out. I would definitely choose Randy over my mountain bike any day. But moving forward, there are two main places left that I just need to be able to get to on this bike if it's gonna regularly replace my car. One, I can't really deal with until winter, so that's gonna have to be another ordeal. The other is the Cool Rocks outside of town. So the original plan was we were gonna go camping up at Cool Rock Land, uh, but there's rain in the forecast and all my camp stuff is in my car and my car is in the shop, so instead we're just gonna roll up and make some brats. Yesterday, I went up to our campsite on my mountain bike just to get a gauge of how long that takes. I'm already tired and I haven't even gotten to the uphill part yet. <laughs> and it took me 45 minutes and I was absolutely beat by the end of it. So ideally, 
I'm gonna get up there in less than 45 minutes and I won't be tired when we get there. And if that's the case, then I could check Cool Rock Place off the map. So let's do this thing. So, so far I'd have to say everything's been going swimmingly. I haven't even broken a sweat and we've only been riding for uh, 15 minutes about. The only problem is this hill right here. This is locally known as Kill Hill because it sucks. And uh, I'm anticipating it to suck the battery out of old Randy here. So, we'll see how this goes. Come on! I was genuinely shocked by how easy it was to get Randy up Kill Hill. I was even more shocked to know that he still had tons of energy at the top. Crossing this spot off the list was a little bittersweet. On one hand, I was so proud of everything we had accomplished, but deep down, I still knew Randy wasn't perfect. I mean, let's face it, I still didn't know if he was waterproof. There was the whole disaster at the grocery store, and a spot on the map that would only be fun if I could bring a snowboard with me. So when I pulled this thing out of the box, unbeknownst to me, it had a ton of problems. But after hours of research and tinkering, I bring to you version 2.0, the e-bike that's gonna replace my van. Randy got a makeover, complete with a waterproof neoprene battery sleeve, a very cool bag for the rack, a dedicated skateboard holder, and a snowboard rack. Not to mention some epic handlebar mittens for when the weather starts to cool off. There's still one really big unanswered question from the beginning of this journey, and that is, do I think it's cool? And my honest answer is absolutely not. I think I could backflip this thing, and the first question someone would ask would be, why? At the end of the day though, I just think it's funny. We're always worried about what people think about us. Do I look cool? And maybe that's not the question you should be asking yourself. Maybe the question you should be asking yourself is what's a better cheap lunch? Dude, I had grocery store sushi, hummus, and candy for lunch today. I'm gonna die. <laughs> 